So we're told that x and y are two positive real numbers and their sum is 15, so we know that x and y are greater than 0 and less than 15. No, we're not told that they're integers, they could be anything. Um, we're also told that x plus y equals 15, i.e. y equals 15 minus x. And we have to look at the maximum value of xy squared, which is x times 15 minus x squared, expanding that equals 225x minus 30 x squared add x cubed. Now to find the maximum value of that we need to differentiate and uh, assign it to 0. Differentiating this we get 225 minus 60x add 3x squared and that will be 0 at the maximum. We can divide by 3 there which gives us x squared minus 20x add 75 equals 0. Factorising this we get x minus 5 x mi oh, sorry, minus 15 equals 0, i.e. x equals 5, or x could be 15, but we've already been told that x can't be 15, it must be less than 15, therefore x equals 5, i.e. y equals 10, and therefore the maximum value of xy squared is 5 times 10 squared, which is 500, answer B.